Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the linguistic channel. And today we'll be learning an interesting thing about English grammar. And uh, I'm not sure if you already knew it or you know it or not. Right? So here we go. Would rather. Where do we use would rather? How do we use it? Uh, it's totally different and it's going to amaze you this time. Would rather, we use it to make preferences and right now we are learning it to make preferences in present. Remember, it can be used in two different ways. Number one is present, number two is past, right? So to make preferences in present, we are learning would rather with present, right? Remember one thing, it has two other uses as well. Like it is used with single subject means singular subject means one subject and number two is dual subject means they are used two subjects as well. Single subject does not mean third person singular or a singular subject like I, she, he, it. It can be used with they, we, you as well. And here with dual subject means that it will have two subjects in it. Okay, so let's go for the first thing. Please listen it so carefully. So, uh, with single subject, it's, it's really easy to make reference. What do you say? That I prefer to go there. You know, in simple English, we usually say that I, I prefer to eat this. I prefer to do this. I prefer to do this. But this time you're going to learn it this way. That I would rather meet my old friends. Which means that then doing anything else, I would prefer to meet my old friends. Like here, I am preferring to meet my old friends than doing anything else in my quarantine time. Although I cannot meet anyone right now uh, since we are just locked down everywhere. So we can say after that, I would rather meet my old friends means after this quarantine period. Next is, she would rather go to her grandmother's house, right? Means that she prefers or she would rather go to her grandmother's house than going anywhere else or than meeting anybody else. Or you can say that, I would rather teach than doing an office job. Or you don't actually need to mention it then, I'm just doing it for your convenience, right? That you would be able to understand it in a better way. But when it comes to dual subjects, the confusion occurs, right? Okay, let me just underline the subjects here for your understanding. Okay, so there are only, uh, in, in one sentence, there is only an object, I mean the subject. And with a dual subject we have, when we make preference for somebody else, right? So here, when you, you make preference or I make preference or somebody else makes preference for me or somebody else. Right? Remember, there we use would rather for dual subject. And the rule is that we follow past simple tense here. As you see, I have used here the past form, the second form, and did, the helping verb of past simple tense. So here, she is saying that she would rather I bought this shirt. Means that she prefers for me to buy this shirt than any other shirt. Right, so she would rather I bought this shirt. Now you're going to be amazed, sir. Why are we using past tense over here? So, dear fellows, what color of shirt you're wearing right now? Might be blue, black, white. Why is that called blue, black, or white? Because it's a rule. It is blue, black, or white. Right, so it's just a rule that we have to follow. So she would rather I bought this shirt or a negative it's going to be, I would rather you didn't talk to them. I would rather you didn't talk to them means that I prefer for you to not to talk to them. Right, so this is how would rather goes with dual subjects and this is how would rather goes with singular subjects. So you see, one, two, two subjects. One, two, two subjects. These are underlined since they are the rules of uh, past tense. And here, one, two. Right, so hope you have clearly understood would rather and the use of would rather. Thank you so much for watching my video. Allah Hafiz. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.